Questions around booster doses of the Pfizer and Moderna and Johnson Johnson vaccine, they are swirling and new data suggests certain combinations of COVID-19 vaccines could give you better protection from the virus. So should you mix and match your vaccines and your booster shot? Our Caroline Vandergriff looks at what you need to know before rolling up your sleeve. Questions around booster doses of Pfizer, Moderna, and Johnson & Johnson are swirling. It is confusing, this, the, all this information. But with all three vaccine manufacturers in varying stages of the approval process with the FDA and CDC, but a promising new study shows that mixing boosters can actually rev up the immune response and help provide more protection against the Delta variant. And so this is really good news. Uh, so it may actually help us broaden the response against future variants as well. Allowing people to combine the different vaccine types could also improve distribution and access to the shot. And one of the things is if the supply isn't there for whatever reason, uh, having the ability to do a different vaccine and know it's as effective, if not even more effective, uh, that would be a, a positive. In particular, the new data from the National Institutes of Health suggests that boosting the Johnson & Johnson vaccine with either a Moderna or Pfizer shot produces more antibodies than a second shot of the J&J. &J. It's something the FDA's vaccine advisory panel is looking into right now but hasn't taken a formal vote on yet. We'll have some guidance, hopefully, in not too distant future, which combinations are beneficial, and which may or may not be so, uh, helpful. In the meantime, experts urge people to have patience before rushing to get another shot. Again, I would first talk with my doctor or a healthcare professional before doing anything. The FDA's vaccine advisory panel did vote unanimously Friday to recommend an extra dose of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine to everyone who got that type of shot initially. The FDA typically follows the advice of that committee, so we could see a final decision from regulators in the coming days. In Fort Worth, I'm Caroline Vandergriff, CBS 11 News.